From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday stump stories as health officials continue to monitor the coronavirus numbers for the country while they wait for the vaccine to get here. The political landscape for the next elections is beginning to take shape. Biggest announcement so far, former Deputy Prime Minister Turnquist will not get the F&M nomination for East Ground Bahama. He is out. He's involved in a legal issue that still has to go to court. Party officials say there's more to come. House Speaker Moultrie has now quit the party. They'll have a new face there. Moultrie now contending that because of his action, the government will want him out as Speaker. There's been no move on that yet, announced by the government. And former DNA leader Brownville McCartney says he's not going to be a candidate for any party in the next elections. According to him, he is out of politics. No clear indication yet when the coronavirus will be in country, so health officials continue to watch the numbers. 14 cases on Friday, 17 on Saturday, 22 of the 31 cases for those two days in the capital, some with travel history over the past 14 days. The hospital situation remains stable. The 14 persons in, no one in the ICU, more than 1,000 active cases in the country still. No other deaths have been reported in that period. The total remains at 176. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Prime Minister Minister and a delegation in Abaco over the weekend there to, among other things, commission the Hopetown Shoreline Stabilization Project. Police in Hopperana looking into the country's latest murder. A man fatally shot in an area officials say has a history of drug-related incidents. That is the 12th murder of the year already. Police have not released any further details on this, but they believe this could be a drug-related incident. Defense Force officials say they have not given up on the search for three persons missing at sea since the end of January. They were last seen in the area of the Potosky Dock, but not since. The U.S. Coast Guard also keeping a lookout for the missing trio. Deputy Prime Minister Bannister is promising that the government will take action over new shanty towns springing up in Abaco, and he says the layout of the new homes shows there is what he calls tremendous collusion in the community by influential persons. The DPM says this will not be an overnight fix. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Mostly sunny today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. High tide now, the next low around noon. Mostly clear skies tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid 70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines encouraging news on the coronavirus front with vaccines in place, the spread beginning to slow around the world, including in the U.S. Health officials advising that it's still going to be a while before the situation is under control, decreasing hospitalizations and the number of countries being reported. In India, the search continues for more than 100 persons missing in a flood there, triggered by a busted dam. 18 confirmed dead. Several persons are trapped in tunnels. Anti-military demonstrations continue in Myanmar. Thousands in the streets protesting the military coup there recently. While the U.S. Senate prepares for the start of the second Trump impeachment trial, which begins tomorrow. Tribune's gas track of prices to start the week. Shell 409, Rubus 401, SO $4.02 per gallon here in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The Tribune Sports has the very latest on Super Bowl 55. Tampa Bay gets the win over Kansas City. And there's plenty on Brady. Read the details, see the pictures on the Tribune Sports Monday. Both DeAndre Ayton and Buddy Heal in NBA action over the weekend. Find out how they did. Heal and the Kings on a good run right now. There's an update on college basketball prospect Kai Jones. And the latest on the Australian Open Tennis Tournament, which begins today in Melbourne. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.